Hey, welcome back. In this video, we will take a look at conditional statements or commonly known as if else statement. So conditional statements are used to perform different actions based on different condition. So I know that sounds a bit complicated, but let's take a look at an example and you will know what I mean. So I'll create a variable called morning, assign this a time, let's say 7 a.m. I will create another variable call this one night, assign this a variable, uh, sorry, a value of 11 p.m. And then I'll create a variable called time and assign this, well right now let's not assign this anything. I'll leave it this way. And I'm going to create my if condition now. So what I'm saying is if the time is 7 a.m. then print out good morning. If the time is 11 p.m. print out good night. I know it sounds silly but uh, I think it would be a good way for you to know how if else condition works. So I'm going to do if add in a brackets and in the bracket you're going to add your condition. So my condition is if time triple equals I'm going to say morning that means if time triple equals let's say 7 a.m. then I'm going to create curly brackets over here open that up and then I'm going to say print out console.log what do we want to print out we're going to say good morning and let's also print out time so I said good morning it's um, and since I'm going to use the apostrophe over here just make sure to add in the skip um slash basically backslash so i'm gonna say good morning it's what do you want to say we want to let's say print out the actual time so it's gonna print out good morning it's 7 a.m so let's see if this works and we'll run this so obviously if i run it right now nope nothing happened and the reason is time is not equal to the morning because time right now is undefined this doesn't really have any value so this is undefined as we learned before so obviously to fix this, I'm going to do time equals 7 a.m. And if I run this right now, there you go. It says good morning at 7 a.m. Awesome. So this is working as expected. We just added our first if statement and we said, hey, if this is 7 a.m., then print this. If it's not 7 a.m., then basically don't do anything. Um, but what if I want to do something else? If it's not 7 a.m., I wanted to print, let's say, good night, right? Weird condition. If it's not morning, it's night. That's what we're assuming. So I'll do else, so we can do if else, and in this scenario, I'm just gonna say, basically copy this, paste it here, good night. And then change this to night. So if I run this, it's going to be good morning, it's 7 a.m. because the time is 7 a.m. But if I change the time to let's say something else, um, let's say if we do 9 a.m., it's gonna say good night, it's 11 p.m which is a bit weird because it's technically not 11 p.m. it's uh, 9 a.m. right that's that's the time so I know our code is broken right now but that's okay at least you understand how this works so what we're saying is hey if time is 7 a.m. then print out good morning if it's not then print out good night but what we want to do instead is if time is 11 p.m. then it should print out good night so to do that we also have something called else if and how that works is basically just like else I'm gonna do else if and in this scenario, I'm going to pass in another condition. So I will say if time is triple equal night. And then at this point, I want you to print out good night. So I'm going to cut this, paste it over here. Then it's going to print out good night. And if it's neither of those, if it's not 7 a.m., if it's not 11 p.m., at that point, I want you to print out. Well, let's say what are you going to print out? We'll say hello. It's it's i guess we'll just tell them the time so i'll say it's time uh it's weird okay so we'll do it's time okay so that's good enough so what we are saying is um if it's morning print out good morning if it's night print out good night if it's not either of those then just print out the time if i run this right now there you go it was 9 a.m it says hello it's 9 a.m awesome so our code is better now it's working as expected now what we're gonna do next is so this is basically what you can do with you can add if you can add else if you can add an else condition to do kind of a catch all but we can add multiple else if condition so for example if i want to say if during 9 a.m it's breakfast time for example so i want to say um good morning it's time to eat right that's i know i'm coming up with stupid examples over here but <laughs> just go along with me so i'm going to create another variable called breakfast time and i will say this 9 a.m i will do my breakfast 
All right. So I will do again else if I will say time triple equals uh, breakfast time. And then over here, I'm just gonna create my obviously print out something else. So I'll copy this, paste it over here. And then I'm just gonna say good morning. Uh, because it is morning. It's time to eat. And I don't want to print out time here. So I'm gonna remove this. All right, so that's good. Um, here's what we're doing. So obviously morning, we got it. Night, we, uh, we have that covered. But if it's breakfast time, then it should actually print this out. Let's run this. Awesome. This time it says, hey, good morning. It's time to eat. So let's let's take a look at our another example. So what we did so far, we did comparison operators, right? We used the triple equals over here. So like I told you last time, like we got to make sure to use triple equal to do a strict comparison. Um, and if we want to do not just the comparison over here, if you want to add logical operators. So what we're going to do is let's take a look at another example. So I'm going to say, hey, if the time is morning, or for example, if I say, actually, you know what, let's do this. If the time is equal to breakfast time, and I want to say that if the breakfast is pancakes, then I want to eat. If it's not pancakes, then I don't want to eat. All right, because everyone likes pancake. Okay, so breakfast, pancakes. And then I'm going to say, if time is breakfast time, and if breakfast, let me see, triple equals and what do we want to do if the breakfast is equal to pancakes we can hard code this over here if we don't it's not necessary for us to use variable we can directly put the string and then i'm saying okay then it's time for us to eat if i run this yep it's time for us to eat but if someone decided to make eggs those no, that day and let's say if some i don't like eating eggs so what i'm going to do is if i print this out Oops, it's not, so it's just going to be hello, it's 9 a.m., it's not time to eat yet. So I hope you understand how this all connects now. We have used, we first learned about the comparison operator, which we're using it now. Then we learned about the logical operators, which we just used it here. Um, let's see if I actually change this to or. So in this scenario, time is actually breakfast time. So guess what, it, what should happen now? All right, let's run. Yep, there you go. It says it's time to eat because this condition turned out true. And you know in the R situation, if either of the situation turns out true, it will actually print this out. And um, yeah, so this is working. And if I actually change this to back to end, and you know it's not going to print out. If I change either of this situation and maybe this one is actually, um, let's do this. I want to do time is breakfast time, which is fine. Keep this R again. And I want to change breakfast to this time. Um, maybe I actually want to do X, but I want to change the breakfast time. I want to change this to the oh, sorry the actual time to 10 a.m. So it is 10 a.m. right now. This doesn't match, but the breakfast does match. So if I run this, yep, there you go. Again, once again, it's time to eat because as expected, this is false. This is true. Hence, it converts it to true again. Obviously, if I do this uh, double end, this won't work. If I hit enter, yep, it's hello, it's 10 a.m. All right, so I hope you understand how if else works and how you can use this in different scenarios. I know right now at the moment it seems a bit weird when I'm giving you examples like this, which are not that practical. But trust me, when you will get down to the automation or actual coding, you'll start understanding when to use this kind of situations. Basically, anytime you want to do some kind of check if something is true or not, you can use if else situations for that. All right, that was it for the conditional statements. Try this out on your own, and then I'll see you in the next lecture.